another video today about this little bike trailer that I bought. It's called a Vita XL. I got it on eBay for uh, about $78. And uh, as you can see, it's similar to a Bob trailer um, in the way that it looks. Of course, the Bob is much better quality. But uh, this one isn't bad. Um, uh, I didn't do a video about putting it together because it's really pretty easy. Uh, the hard part is getting it attached to the bike and I'm going to go into that and how, how I'm going to modify it because the way that this one is set up to attach to the bike is just a royal pain. But anyway, I'll get into that later. So for right now, anyway, uh, it comes with uh, everything that you see there, the, the bag, dry bag, little flag, and uh, it was listed at $86 and I had a 10% off coupon so I got it for $78 or something like that and uh, I think that's a pretty good deal uh, the comparable Bob trailer uh, rigid no suspension similar to this one is uh, $330 so <laughs> it's a big difference of course you know this comes from China like most other things and uh, but uh big difference between this one and the Bob is in this area here where uh, the Bob trailer has, it's, it's much more sturdy the way it's built. And this one doesn't look bad, but um, I, I do worry, or, or actually I would worry if I was going to carry a lot of weight in here. It says it'll carry 65 pounds, um, but I, I, would, I would worry about that, especially on a long tour, rough roads especially if you're going off-road. I don't know how well this would hold up to a 65-pound load. Uh, with, the, with the Bob, I wouldn't worry about it at all. But my plan for this thing is to carry a 15-pound dog in it. And uh, I think, you know, it's going to be fine for that. And I don't go off-road, so I uh, don't think it's going to be a problem. But as far as putting this together, it's just uh, super easy. Um, for these things, it's just got these compressible pins here. You just press them in, stick it down in there, and it, you've got a hole on one side if you want to uh, use it like a wheelbarrow. And then you just push it in and flip it around the other way, and it's got a hole on the other side if you want to uh, keep it back like that when you're uh, towing it behind a bike. I'm probably not going to use them at all, so I think I'm just going to take them off completely and... Uh, just you know, lose a little bit of weight, although they don't they don't weigh much at all. But uh, this part here, it just uh, it's got a shaft here that you just stick down through the middle of this hole, and then you stick this pin through it, and uh, that holds it on there. So uh, that's all there is to that. This this part already comes attached, and the only other thing you have to do is put the fender on here and it's got a screw. I didn't tighten it down yet. That's why it's loose. And uh, that's simple. And then the wheel comes uh, all assembled with the skewer already in it. And so you just put it in the dropouts and tighten it up. And then you've got this little reflector. I haven't tightened that yet either. It's just got a little nut that goes on the back of it. And you tighten that on there and drop the flag in the hole if you want to use this flag, which I don't, I've got a taller one on order. Um, and that's really all there is to it. So the most confusing part about this whole thing is uh, the part where you would uh, put the skewer that comes with this together with all the parts. And of course, uh, these are the instructions here and it doesn't say a word or a thing about that. <laughs> So you're on your own. <laughs> so when you open the bag of parts, this is what you're going to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this all goes on the bike, but then I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it, which is going to eliminate some of these parts, mainly these stupid things here. This is what is supposed to latch it onto the bike and prevent it from coming off when you hit bumps and that sort of thing but it's just a royal pain to get the thing on there and to get it off again if you use these because they're just they're really not convenient at all so I'm going to eliminate those but I'll get into that later. Uh, these four things here 
these pieces here, those are really, uh, you're only going to use two of those. And see some of them are hollow and the other two are solid. So if you have a solid axle bike, you're going to use the solid ones. And they'll just, the end of the axle will just screw into each one of these. If you have a skewer, you'll use the hollow ones. So step one is to remove the existing skewer from your bike. Okay, so this is how this new skewer goes together. So you get the skewer here, and the first thing you grab is this uh, little piece here, and uh, this has got the radius cut here that the uh, skewer lever will push up against when you lock it down. So that's going to go in first with the radius cut towards the lever. Just like that. Next, you're going to put this nut that comes with it on there. And I'm going to say right now that for my bike, I need to, I needed two of these on this end. So I bought an extra one and put it on there. You may not need it. I don't know. It's just that um, maybe my uh, axle is shorter than most bikes. I don't know. It's it's just a, it's a specialized hard rock uh, bike, but um, it wouldn't work with just one nut. So I had to put two on mine, and then you're going to put this piece. You're going to put it on with this piece facing inwards. And then you'll put in this piece here. This is the little shoulder that the front, the uh, that little fork on the trailer is going to ride on. So that uh, needs to go towards the outside. So it'll go on this way. And remember, this one is the hollow one, the one that does not have threads on the inside. So you put that on there. This goes over here like that screw on the screw you can screw it all the way down you might have to back it off a little bit when you go to put the trailer on and then you screw this one on the end there and then uh, the last piece is the spring the tapered spring you have the small end of it going towards the center of the bike so the large and we'll go towards the outside like that. So I'll push this end through like that. And now on the other side, I will start putting the other parts on. So first the spring with the small end first. Then this piece that has already been put together just like that. Screw that on the end of the skewer. Now once you get it on like that far then you can lock down the, the skewer and so that part is done then you can put the, uh, the end piece on and theoretically you're done. Now here's the hard part to get this uh, trailer on there you've got to put it onto this shoulder on the inside of this piece here so this little L part where it's bent over will go over the top of the fork so I'll show you what I mean okay this goes on here and that you have gotta put on the inside of this thing And see, it's, it just doesn't want to fit on there very easily. So what you really have to do is you have to back, the, back this nut off so you've got space to drop it in there. And you, you can just see what a pain in the butt this is. Can you imagine having to do this out on the road every time you get a flat tire? See, that still isn't on there right because this this thing is not dropping down over that shoulder the way it's supposed to. 
So I have to back this off some more, try to get it over that shoulder, and then also over the top of this fork here. And it's just like it doesn't want to go. Anyway, I'm done with messing with this, okay? This is, I am not going to go through this every time I need to change out my tire or fix a flat. So I'm going to eliminate these things and that's what's coming up next. Okay, I've decided to rearrange the parts on this skewer. Um, number one, eliminating this stupid thing. And uh, I'm going to rearrange them so I can get this uh, shoulder that the fork rests on as far away from the dropout as possible so I can get it out here and uh, that way it'll be easier to drop that fork on there and there'll be nothing in the way. So skewer uh, number one again this piece with the radius cut on it radius towards the lever then the uh, shoulder bolt and the two nuts, the nuts in here and then the spring narrow part towards the center and put it through. So now when it's locked down this uh, shoulder is going to be out away from these other parts here so it can just drop the fork right straight down here. It should be pretty easy to get it on there. So on the right side we have the spring and the uh, nut on the shoulder bolt and we just screw that in and the end piece. Just like that. Alright, so I'm going to take the fork off of the trailer first pull the pin and then you just need to pull this out. Now what I'm going to do is on the front of the forks here I'm going to drill a little hole right here right in front of the, the cutout notch here on each side. One here and one here and then back a ways I'm going to drill another hole right through the tube on each side. So now I'm going to put some screws through these holes. These are 1024 by inch and a half screws. And I'm going to put a washer on first. And then another washer on the inside. And then a nylock nut. And then I'm going to tighten that down, but uh, not completely. I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap. And you do that on both sides. Now we'll fit the fork on there. It's a lot easier than it was before. So you get yourself a couple of spare spokes. And you just uh, find something to bend it around and just bend it in half like that and now we'll take this spoke that we bent in half feed it through the front hole that we made into the fork just like this and then we'll take it and bend it up so it will rest on top of the screw and we'll do that on each side and then we'll bend this down around the screw so that it is just greater than a 40 or a 90 degree angle right about like that All right, and we'll do that on both sides. Okay, we'll take this for a test run and see how it goes.
Well, it seems to have worked out pretty well. Um, there are a couple of little shortcomings. Uh, it's much better than the other system, the system that came with it, but uh, one problem is that this side, getting the spoke on, is uh, is pretty, it's, it's, it's a little tedious. Um, you've got to have this spoke fed through the hole before you get the uh, fork put on the axle. Otherwise it's difficult to feed it through there and then bend it up around you know between the fork and the derailleur here. It's just kind of a pain so it's a little bit tedious doing that. You just have to remember to feed it through first and then kind of hold it out of the way as you're putting the fork on. Uh, the other side is no problem at all. Um, so you know is it is it as easy as a bob trailer? No. Uh, the bob, the system that the bob trailer has with the pin that slides through, it just slides through and then flips up and snaps in place, and that's that's about as good as it gets. But um, I don't have a way to make like a, a little tube here for that pin to slide into. So um, you know this isn't bad. Um, I'll probably carry uh, a few extra spokes with me if I go on tour with this thing. Uh, just so in case one of them happens to get mangled or somehow I get I lose them I'll have a couple of extra ones I can just make another one on the fly so um, I think it's gonna work out pretty well okay thanks for watching